majesties welcome back to the channel all right today i would want us to dive right into it all right this this um places you're seeing on the screen right now a lot of us believe that it's somewhere in the middle east or somewhere far away in turkey or wherever this place is in africa and um, most of the names of historical places that are in the book in the bible are all in africa because those stories are stories that were written about our people about people who walk the length and breadth of this continent within the continent not outside of the continent everything that happened happened within the continent now these stories were taken and manipulated and returned to us and then we started believing things that are not real now we talk about gilga Gilga is in Africa, but the name was changed. I'm going to show you clips soon, and um, there is an argument that I would want you to listen to. Do not miss it for anything, but I just want to prepare your minds before we get to that. Gilga, like you see, is in Africa. It is called Gilgil, not Gilga. Now, this is what they do. They change the name of this place so it doesn't draw your attention. Now, after changing the name, they do not lay emphasis to these places anymore so that it doesn't draw people's attention as well. In South Africa, Hebron is located in South Africa. These things, this map are not just um, derived. I didn't just create these things. They are there somewhere. They try to hide it so well. They try to pull everything in the dark, but it's gradually coming out. Hebron is in South Africa. All right. And um, we have Bethlehem in South Africa. Bethlehem is in South Africa. Now, this is what we're talking from the beginning. Look at Jericho, now Kericho. Now Kericho, are you seeing the map? You see that arrow pointing to you? These places are in Kenya. These places are in Kenya. And Mount Kenya, that's we're going to do more of it. Uh, Mount Kenya is said to be Mount Zion. Your Majesties. And this is Gilga. It is now Gilgil. So, there is a lot that have been changed. This is Endor. Endor became Ender. All right. So there are lots of other things that have been manipulated and played with. All right, this video coming, I got the information from Mame Grace, um, the revelation. Her, her handle should be Mame Grace. She do things like this, getting back to history and rediscovering the real thing, the truth and not the lie. Because it's time that we should start believing what we should believe, the right thing, not what somebody have planned, sat down, organized and want all of us to believe in the tribe especially the tribe of judah we're the one that bind the bantu people they always say bato there is no israel in the, in, the, in the bible it's a fake name it's a fake name israel israel is a fake name just like the, the land is the land is real they can have the land <laughs> but the name israel in the bible is a fake name you have to understand our father's na uh, name the name akobi which is in the bible which they put J on it. And remember, the, 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 the letter J came around the 1600. Okay, 1600. There was three letters that came out. J, U, and W. Why didn't the Gentiles make it 24, 25, and 26? No, they don't want to do that because it's all a plan. So they made J number 10. They made U number 21. They made W number 23. That's why it's a WWW. Two times three is six. Two times three is six. Two times three is six. Six, six, six. Revelation chapter 13, same thing with Jesus, Jesus' name, 666, same as Lucifer, 666. You take all the numbers of the, you take all the letters, you put the numbers next to it, times se equals 74, times 9, the single number, which is 9, it's 666. Lucifer, same thing, you take all the, na all the names, put the letters on there, put the numbers on there, it equals 74, times the highest number is a single number, is 9 equals 666. Revelation chapter 6, the name is the number, the number is the name. So every time you call upon Jesus, you call upon Lucifer. Huh? Uh, yes. Every time you call upon Jesus, you call upon Lucifer. They've done it on purpose. They've done it on purpose. Because they never want us to go back to our culture. Not religion. We don't have religion. 
We don't have religion. Religion is an institution created by the Gentiles. And when I say Gentiles, I'm talking about the Euro-Asian people, the Arabs, and the white people. These are the Gentiles. This is another one. Yeah, these are the Gentiles. Another Apoko. Yes, they're the Gentiles. We, the black and brown people, that's why when you ask someone, uh, uh, what color is your father in heaven? They'll say, well, I don't know. I say, well, the Bible tell you his color. It tells you. Why are you saying you don't know? Let's look at Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. It says, He that sits upon the throne look upon like jasper and sardine stone. So go look at the color of the two stone. One is that color, and the other one is this color. That's black and brown. Our father is black and brown. Is there anything white in heaven? No, only your clothes or the walls or the clouds. Finish. There's nothing white in heaven. There's nothing, nothing white in heaven. Nothing in heaven but your clothes and the walls and the paint. That's it. Finished. There's nothing in white in heaven because the father says everybody's black. <coughs> He's black. Look at your image. Who's your father? My father's a black man. The, the, the blackest man here is that guy there. That's my father's color. That's my father's color. So I know my father's color. So I know my father's 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 color is black. So when I get down to my creator, my creator is also black. Period. I don't actually want us to... I want you to get into your topic. Okay. His topic is Holy Land is okay. Africa. Religion is a big scam. Mm -hmm. That is his topic. Mm -hmm. But I, what I wanted to address is you saying that Israel is... Are you saying the name Israel is fake? It's a fake, fake name, name or yeah. the people it's a fake or the country? The people itself is fake. Uh -huh. And the name itself is fake. Because when you put ISIS uh -huh. and... Ra, I, yes. Together you get Israel. Isis Ra El. Yes. Isis Ra El. Three that, deities. Yes. Three deities. That's what I'm saying. One. So you get Israel. Yeah, so yeah. if you tell me the name is fake, Isis. I don't get it. Isis is the is the is the is the goddess of uh, uh, the you know Egypt. Egypt. Yes. And then Ra is the sun god. Yes. Marco El is the deity yes. of the uh, uh, of the of the of the, of the, of uh -huh. the Canaan, Canaanites. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see what I'm so that's Isis Ra and El. That's his name. That's what I'm saying. That when it's you put it name. together, you get Israel. Do you honestly think our father on Yom Kippur is going to change the name of Akobi, which means the firstborn, into a name of three different deity? Come on, my sister. Think. Uh -huh. So I'm coming. Uh -huh. But you said I I'm I'm telling yes. you when you. You put ISIS and yes, Israel, yes. It's you get Israel. Yes. So let's say uh -huh. that maybe the name is not a country, uh -huh. the name is not about people, mm -hmm. but the name is real. But the translation is three deities put together. Into one, yes. Uh -huh. So Why it come, be... when you say the name is re, uh, a fake, it, and we are able to put these three deities together okay. to get the name, okay. let, let, then I don't know how let, you let, will let explain this. The name is real, but for us, uh -huh. we as black and brown people, uh -huh. that name doesn't belong to us. It's a creation done by the Gentile, placed in our book to replace our father's name from Akobi to first from Akobi to Jacob, put a G on his name, and then that that's why if you take the J, his name is Akop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Akop. And if you take his name, then they took his name and changed it to Israel in the book of Genesis, chapter 35 and 32. You see what I'm saying? I, so, I understand everything yeah. you are saying, uh -huh, but what yeah. I think I want you to correct or uh -huh. adjust uh -huh. or address uh -huh. is, is the name Israel being a, re, a fake word. It's, I think the word is there, but maybe the meaning they are giving to it, because if I put Isis, Ra, uh -huh. And, and L, L uh -huh. together, uh -huh. and I get Israel. You get three deities. Three deities. Yes. It is a name. Uh, it's a, yeah, the name. Okay, let's me, let me let me see if I can rephrase in a way you can understand. Okay, okay? The name is real because they created it. That's what makes it real. But the name does not belong in our scripture. It's added there so that we can stay away from our father because they were creating their name so they can move the heritage of our father outside Africa because when you change the name, you own the name. When you own the name, you can do whatever you want with the name. That's why they came here. They colonized us here. They changed our name so they own us. Then as they move the south, they change our name again. Then they own us because when you change your name, it's like if I bring you a dog. I said, my sister, this is my dog. My dog is named called John. All of a sudden, oh, I don't want John. I'm going to name him James. So now you own this dog. You see what I'm saying? That's the same thing that they've done to us. So the name itself is real because they created it. Uh -huh. But it's The not, meaning we are giving it to as people uh -huh. or as a country, uh, yes. that is why you are saying it's, it's fake. Yes, it's that's fake. Yeah. Yeah. It's fake, see. yes. It's fake that in, that's that, in what, that expect. Yes, you know that's what I'm yes. trying to, to say. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. So Israel uh -huh. is Just there, like the country is it means three deities yes. put together. Correct. So if people are saying they want to be spiritual Israelites, they uh -huh. are totally what? They are inabominable. 
Yeah, you're an abominable. <laughs> Abomination to our father on Yankapon because he never created Israel. This is a creation of the offsprings of the fallen angel, the Gentiles. They created that religion. You're an abominable to our father. Okay, people, I have treated um, Mami Grace's verses um, El Mitral. You can actually watch that and get the full episode <laughs> of what he's saying. Yes, yes. Uh, Mami, Grace, Mami Grace versus El Mithra. Mm -hmm. When you watch it, you will get the full details of what we just had right now. I uh, will say Revelations. You are watching Revelations. You are watching the biggest. You are watching the largest. You are, you are watching the tallest. You are watching the biggest. Okay, so um, that is our brother. He, his topic is Holy Land is Africa. Religion is a big scam. I welcome you once again. Thank you, thank you. So now, let me ask you this small question, then we mm -hmm. jump into your topic. Yes. Do you actually believe in anything? I believe in the law, statutes, and commands of our Father. I believe in the words of our Father. The, our Father, he has many law. His law is his word. His word is his law and his commandments. So when people talk about the Ten Commandments, the commandment, this, his word is his law. Give back to his word. His word is to be obeyed, period. If you don't obey his word, you will be punished. You will be punished. So, yeah. when is someone to say who is your father? Uh, I would say on Yonkapon since I'm in Ghana. Uh huh. Okay. Because he's uh -huh. my father. But in in the Isi closest language and in the Bible, in the Bible, in the concordance, his name is Nini. N I N I. Nini. That's what his name is. Mm -hmm. And if you don't believe, just go into South Africa, type in the songs of Sunini, you will hear our father's song being spoke, uh, sung, sung by our sisters and our brothers in South Africa. Okay, so um, wh where do you place Onyang Kupong being, or Nene being your father? Because... What, what's the difference between Nene? Uh, it's, it's the same thing. Because oh, I'm coming. Or Onyang Kupong and your ancestors. Uh, How do you place It's because, them? look, we, being the 12 tribes of Akobi, Okay, uh, we lost our heritage because of uh, the, the, the shuffling around that our father did unto us and also these Gentiles and stuff, you know. So we lost a lot of our culture and a lot of our heritage. Some of our culture is still the same. So we, we even pick up different languages and stuff, you know, among ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I'm your, I'm your brother. All of a sudden I go to another place and I'm going to create a new language, a new tone, this is that. And that's basically what happened and stuff to our people and stuff, you know. So if you're calling upon your father on Yonkapon or Sunini or Tatana's Zimbi or Mawari or Chineke, that's okay. It's your father's thing. It's your. It's, it's an African name, but it's not a give a name given to you in the Bible. Uh, Lord God, Yahweh, Yahweh. All these names are foolish names. They must be taken out of our, uh, out of out of the book. They don't belong. Scratch them out. Throw them away. Stop. I'm speaking the word. It's the truth. A foolish name. Because why? Our father said, anything that is spoken other than anything that's foreign, foreign to you, foreign to you should not be mentioned. Let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 20. He tells you that. It must be from you. I, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. If you want the truth, I'll give you the truth. I will not lie. That's the truth. 